I bought this Gamo Gun Buddy Sling from Amazon and I'm gonna do a review on it. Here it is. Looks like the name is called Gamo Gun Buddy. And here it says easily attaches to all ear rifles. I gonna take it off the plastic. Here's the gamo sling. I took it off the plastic right here. So it looks like this end is attached to the stock. And this end is attached to the barrel. I'm gonna put the sling to this rifle. This you could make it bigger or smaller, but and now I'm gonna connect the other end to the stock. And then you just tighten it up. You could adjust the sling, make it longer or shorter. I gotta make it a little bit shorter. So if you're out in the field and you need to use two hand, then the sling right here is very useful. You don't have to put the rifle on the ground. You might want to drink a bottle of water and then you can use two hand drink. The part that's attached to the stock, it's, it's kind of loose so I could leave it as is. But I'm gonna figure something out. I'm gonna figure something out to tighten it up. Because I don't like it loose. See this part right here? There's kind of like a, a groove that goes down here. This is very. The way this shape is, is very good for this sling. Because. Because this part is smaller than this side and smaller than going up. So the sling stay here. But let's try putting this sling on a rifle that the stock is shaped different. See how it goes. Right here I got the Remington Ear Master 77. See how the stock on the Remington Air Master 77 is shaped differently? So the, the sling's not gonna stay on it tight, it's gonna be moving. Unless you don't mind having the sling tie up to right here. I'm gonna make it shorter because the thing is up here. I'm 
I got the Remington Air Master right here. I don't like how the side that's attached to the stock is too loose. It's trying to be hard to figure something out to tighten it up. I put the sling back onto the Crossman Quest 1000. It's starting to get dark so I gotta turn on the light. Okay, so here's a, there's a plastic thing right here. I'm sure there's a name for it, but I don't know what it's called. And then there's another plastic over here. You could actually move the plastic so it'll be right next to the stock. If you do this, then this will tighten up and it doesn't become so loose. But if you do do this, then you won't be able to adjust how the length of the sling. Because the plastic can be always be right here. If you move the plastic away from the stock, then the sling become longer in length. So if you're gonna have it right here all the time, then you can adjust the length of the sling. If anyone's wondering, the Crossman Quest 1000 is a brake barrel. I'm not gonna break it all the way, cause if I do, then I gonna need to shoot it. And with a Springer gun, if you shoot it dry, you could damage the rifle. And I'm not gonna shoot it with a pellet in it. Not here. <laughs> 